Hey, it's Jason here. I'm with my Skag Tiger Cat. I purchased this in 2013. I cut my property every week, which is just about three acres, and a neighbor's property every other week, which is about three acres. So roughly about six acres I'm cutting. And I wanted to give you a review of the Skag Tiger Cat. I absolutely love it. It's been an amazing machine in the eight years that I've had it. I guess seven seasons, going on my eighth season. I've had to replace one hydro pump and it was because I used to cut a property that was a huge cliff and um, I think I was putting a lot of work on that hydro pump. I'm going to give you a little walk around tour of this Skag Tiger Cat. After the walk around tour, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and cut with it and just hook the camera so you can actually experience what it is like you're cutting with the Skag Tiger Cat zero turn commercial grade mower. Okay, this is my Skag Tiger Cat. I absolutely love this zero turn. My Skag Tiger Cat is a 61 inch deck. So that's your deck down there. It has three blades, 61 inch cut. It is 23 horsepower and it's powered by, as I mentioned, the Kawasaki engine. You know, they advertise the zero turn as cover ground quickly and boy you can move out on this bad boy and even if you're going quick that 61 inch deck with the velocity they call it the velocity cutting deck it cuts incredibly tall grass i've cut easily two foot tall grass without an issue it's a fully welded steel frame it has the hydro gear selection hydraulic transmission so you can really move this thing it has a really nice clutch brake the Ogira clutch brake a very basic instrument panel which I appreciate and uh, it is relatively speaking compact meaning you can get in some tight areas when you're cutting you can see over there by the cars you know I squeeze over there with no issue dual fuel tanks it has a suspension seat you can adjust it based on your weight it has a really nice foot plate, which, you know, I think is super important when you're cutting for comfort. Remember, these mowers are designed for commercial use. People sitting on them eight hours a day. It has really nice pulley systems. You can, uh, you can adjust the height incredibly easy without cutting the mower off. You can uh, use a pedal to get it from one to five inches and quarter of an inch increments, which I'll show you. The deck leveling is pretty easy. Checking the um, the belts is super easy. And um, it has really nice and mine turf tiles on it. So enough yapping. Let me show you a few features of this. So you're going to want to obviously keep your hydraulic oil always top because, you know, it's hydrostatic. You want it to be roughly about three inches below. You can see I have it down in there. I never have an issue with that. I do maintenance on this every year. When I say I do, I send it to the local Skag shop every March. Yeah, I could save probably 200 bucks if I do it myself, but I just really like the shop, and they do a phenomenal job. It's Liberty Discount in Town, Maryland. Um, definitely would recommend these folks if you're looking for a Skag. Very, very, very pleased with them. They've done me right on many things. You have your dual fuel tanks. Tank on the left, tank on the right. You obviously can control it, what tank you're going. You never want these to go completely empty when you're cutting. That can be problematic. Very easy. Change the oil. You can pop this down, leak it out. Uh, you can check your oil very easily. Again, you have the other um, tank here. The air filter is easy to access. Uh, it has an hour meter right back here. So if you're looking at a used one, you want to check how many hours are on it. Uh, let's turn mine on, I guess, and we can look. I have, uh, what is that, 243 hours. 243 hours on mine. So pretty, pretty youthful. 
I usually cut about two hours a week to do those six acres. So we're talking eight hours a month. The season max, I'm probably doing 70, 60 hours a year cutting, which is nothing for this. To put the seat up, just push this level, a lever, I should say, and you can pop it up. I'm a big fan how comfortable it is and with the seat you can adjust it based on your weight I put it on the highest weight setting I do not weigh that much but I just find it to be a lot more comfortable um, when I'm hitting bounces and everything I should probably adjust it to 250 but uh, I keep it at the 280 setting personal preference you have your parking brake to the left very easy to operate your mower deck, push, pull it out to engage, push it in to disengage, your key, your choke, fast, slow, up to the rabbit, just like a normal one. Very easy to maneuver this, and it has the little oil points that you can put your lubrication in very easily everywhere. But this is one of my favorite features. So I'm cutting right now a little under three and a half inches. But if I wanted to adjust it, I just push that up, pull this pin, pop it through, and then you go here to this little knob, or this little um, level I should say, push that back, drop the deck. Why do I love that? Because sometimes I'm cutting and I need that deck to go as high as it can go. I can just stop and get it high. So like if you're coming, going down a hill, and you see something and you're like, man, I don't know what's on the other side of that grass. You can raise the deck very quickly and disengage everything. So if there's a rock or something, you'll be safe. Um, I've, I've cut some grass for neighbors that is you know, two feet long. And um, that's really handy. Uh, you know, With any zero turn, you obviously would just pull these in and away you go. You have to be very careful on this tiger cat because it will... Um, it will no doubt move quickly. You have some rollers on the front. It gives you those nice stripes. And you also have rollers on the, <clears throat> on the rear. There, but they're there. You have your oil filter, exhaust. I have a little hitch on mine. I never tow with it. I have it on there so when I park it or when I... Um, you know, in backing into my garage, I can basically use this to tap a piece of wood so I know where I'm at. You would adjust the protection system just like any system, pull these out. I never, never change it. I always keep it up. For maintenance, I love this. Pop this off. If you watch my video about tightening the blades, you'll see it. Make sure your blades are nice and tight. And when you clean it, you can undo these very easily and you can really just blow all that grass out check your pulleys just great design I think basic but great because you don't have to fiddle with a bunch of stuff because if you like me when you're cutting grass you don't have tons of time you want to get the job done you want the job to look great and you want to move on and the Skag Tiger Cat enables me to do this this was manufactured august of 2013 i bought it in 2013 so uh i bought it right when it came off the assembly line under the seat it gives you instructions about tire pressure you know you always want to keep your your system oiled up you always want to keep things lubricated and you know just like on a tractor or some cars you know you have the little points where you can put your gun and lubricate it up but this is the skag tiger cat 61 inch deck i've had it since 2013 so i've had it this would be the eighth season and i have just shy of 300 hours on it so i'm going to go ahead and cut the front yard and cut a bunch of others and then i'm going to take a video just cutting the back and my hope is uh you'll get a good sense of how this bad boy works.
So that's what it's like cutting with the Skag Tiger Cat 61 inch deck. Really enjoy the ride. It cuts super nice. I've cut with, I still have a John Deere. I have a Simplicity and I actually have a Cub Cadet. Um, but those are some auto mowers. Simplicity comes the closest to the nice lines. Um, and that's from the 80s as the Skag. The John Deere was nice, but um, I just didn't feel like it was as durable and as quick and efficient as this Skag Tiger Cat. Um, granted, I, I, I kind of cut a little bit more aggressively today. I wasn't too concerned about the lines. If you want really nice lines, they actually make a striping kit for the Skag to give you that like golf course finish look. But um, I'm very pleased with how I can do this relatively quick. Um, the grass is kind of wet today. It was uh, a lot of dew. And I'm going to go ahead and finish that section over there. But this back half is about an acre, I guess, roughly, if you go around the perimeter. And then the front is about an acre. And then on the other side of the, uh, the property is about an acre. So it's like three kind of zones. And then I cut in Abers. So I hope this video is helpful of the Skag Tiger Cat 61 inch deck with the Kawasaki engine. And uh, be sure to check out my blog, jams.net, J A M Z.net, for more DIY adventures and car stuff, and I guess lawnmower stuff that I do. Have a great day. Thank you.